channel it's Lissy if you guys are new here brace yourselves we do a lot of weird stuff on this channel anyways today guys since you guys like my last Amazon unboxing videos so much where I bought just the weirdest things that I could find on Amazon I am delivering yet again another crazy unboxing video today I went on to Amazon and I looked up the weirdest and most craziest stuff I could buy and also asked some of my friends what they could find on Amazon and I bought some weird stuff also right now it is thunderstorming outside so if you can see lightning through my window there's a big storm it never rains in California also comment down below which country are you guys from just because I'm curious of where all my lovely viewers are from I'm in Cali so if y'all ever see me what's up what's up also if you guys have not subscribed hit that subscribe button to join the family so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos I post videos every Wednesday Friday and Sunday also if you if you guys didn't notice I got a carousel horse that was an impulsive purchase but this is also another impulsive purchase it was Amazon Prime Day the other day so I got some good deals I'm just saying but I bought some crazy weird stuff Alright, I don't even remember what I ordered, so this is gonna be chaotic once again. Wait, what is this? There's two things in here. Ooh! Grim Reaper costume. Oh, wait, that's right. One of my friends picked this out for me. Okay, so this is supposed to be a Grim Reaper costume. I'm going to literally transform into the Grim Reaper. Ha <laughs> ha. Did you guys ever watch that one show as a kid? What was it called? Adventures of like Mandy and the Grim Reaper. It was a good show. All right, I don't know how this is supposed to work. There's literally this like glasses that are supposed to light up and make your eyes like glare red like the Grim Reaper. I'm going to um see if I can assemble this costume. There's a whole sword I have to put together and a whole outfit and glowing eyes and I'm gonna become the Grim Reaper. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, so I put this big uh like cape on that's black and I built the Grim Reaper sword. Oh my gosh, I look so scared carry with this sword and then um i have these glasses here there's a little button on the side here and you click it where the button go here it is and then they light up red it will look cooler in the dark so i look so goofy <laughs> Why do I look like a bug? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, and then I'm gonna put this this little mask on and see the magic come to life. It's his eyes! The Grim Reaper! <laughs> Wait, this is actually such a sick costume and it was pretty affordable. And then the eyes just like flash red. I don't know if I should turn the lights off and show you guys. Oh, this looks sick. I could scare my neighbors and my family with this. 10 out of 10. I love this cursed choice of outfits. It's his eye! The Grim Reaper! Fresh like if you guys like my costume. I should make a TikTok in this, by the way, follow my TikTok. I just feel like this is like a Minecraft pickaxe. I could just play Minecraft in this Grim Reaper outfit. Okay, now that I've become the Grim Reaper, I just realized my window is wide open, so if my neighbor saw that, they're probably terrified. Anyways, the next thing I have here is this, and this is a feisty pet. I've always wanted one of these because they're horrifying, um, but kind of cute at the same time. So it might look like your typical little bunny rabbit, right? Okay. Okay, hear me out. It's not. So basically it says squeeze the back of a feisty pet's head and um, his true colors will shine through. So let me show you guys. Look how cute it is. It looks like a, like a T.Y. almost. And then you squish his head and boom, he's absolutely horrified. Looks like he'd bite my finger off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this thing is, uh, it's cute, but it's also cursed. <laughs> kind of like me. Anyways, I don't know. It's like the best of both worlds here. I just love that you can have a cute and a very angry plushie at the same time. I feel like my dog would hate this or think it's a toy because it is kind of scary. If she saw the teeth, she might be afraid of it. I want to test my theory. Angel, do you like feisty pets? Look, she's smiling for you. I'll take that as no, she does not like feisty pets. <laughs> the next thing I found in uh, the last Amazon package is uh, something I think for my dog. So this one I believe is a bat costume. Dog needs to look stylish every Halloween and it comes with little pumpkin bells. How could I not? So spooky cute and adorable. Oh, so this is the bat wings I'm supposed to use on my dog. Oh, I dropped one of the bells and then it comes with these cute little Jingle bells, how spooky and adorable. Oh my gosh, she's a little bat. Okay, and I didn't know this beforehand, but this is actually a harness, so you could literally walk your dog in this. She likes to slip out of her harnesses, so probably not gonna try that. This is amazing, this is the most cutest thing ever. And the little pumpkin bell, like, I'm obsessed. She looks so cute, she's my little bat, she's a little bat. She's so over it, but I'm so into it. All right, we have the next box. Also, if I outfit change, you're not crazy. I just got hot in my sweater. So, we're gonna see what's inside this next one. I love spooky Christmas. 
What are these? Oh, I think I know what these are. Okay, so these are horror 3D changing art portraits. They're like the kind of photos you'd see in the Haunted Mansion where you like look at them and then you'd look at them from another angle and they change by themselves. These would be a great prank for somebody if you had these in your like hallway and they didn't know. So this one here, if you look at this at this angle here, she looks like a normal little girl, right? Tilt her a little bit more. She's cursed. Her whole face just changed. That would be such a funny prank if you put this photo up and someone didn't know. Here's the Mona Lisa, but she changes into a skeleton Mona Lisa. Normal guy, normal basic dude, and then BAM! He's a demon. I should hang these up for Halloween. These are so cool. Alright, the next cursed Amazon item I got. Oh, the peeping man. I have wanted this for the longest time because I've been meaning to prank my family because I love pranking people. He has suction cup on his back so you can add him to the back of a window. And if anyone didn't know better, they would think someone's peeping in and staring at them through the window at night. This will be the worst and most mean prank to pull on a sibling. I'm not giving y'all ideas, but I am. But I mean, it is Halloween, so don't don't tell them I told y'all. But it's only a few dollars on Amazon, and um, I'm definitely gonna hang this on a window and scare my family. So here he is, out of the packaging. I could see how realistic this would look, especially at night. If you just suction cup the front here to a window, and you just saw that, I would actually cry. This is a really mean prank, but do I love it? Yes. The next cursed useless item, jumbo googly eyes. I have wanted these for the longest time. You could put them on anything. You could put them in trees, extra spooky. I might add them to a tree outside. I hope nobody steals them. <gasps> Look how big they are. I've always wanted this. I've always dreamed of this moment of having giant googly eyes for no reason whatsoever. Do I look funny? I love this. I could put this on my door. I could put this on trees. I could put this on the refrigerator. I think I'm gonna do that. I don't know if they're sticky on the back. That's the one question I have. But are they amazing? Absolutely. Are they useless? Yes, but I love them, okay? I don't don't ask questions, okay? I this is cursed and I love it. Alright, and we have one last and final box, and um, I don't even remember what's in here, to be honest. What is this first thing here? Oh, it's a crystal ball thing. Okay, so this is like one of those magical crystal prediction balls. It was like a popular toy. It says, just ask your question to Mr. Prediction and it will speak the truth to your answers. Fortune telling toy. How spooky. There's 30 possible answers and it lights up and it talks. Oh, I am ready for Mr. Prediction to predict my life. I'm so excited. This is so scary. Okay, let's switch it on. I'm hoping. <gasps> Ain't no way. Even Angel's confused. It works. That would, yes. that would be a yes. I didn't even ask a question, Mr. Prediction. Shut up. How do I do this? It says, switch him on. Place the ball flat on surface with logo facing up. Ask a yes or no question. Mr. Prediction, will I ever hit 10 million YouTube subscribers? I'm waiting. The answer is yes. Whoa, let's go. I better hit 10 million now. He better not be wrong. Mr. Prediction, um, is my dog the most beautiful creature on this planet? I love this ball. Everything points to yes. Whoa! Mr. Prediction, does Chuck E. Cheese want to be my husband? Everything points to no. Ah! The worst day ever. Stupid ball! <laughs> okay, I know I've been asking really goofy questions. Yes. Without question. Shut up, ball. But I want to ask some actual questions and see if it gets it right by chance. Alright, Mr. Prediction, do I have blue eyes? I am confident it is no. He's a liar! Mr. Prediction, am I blonde? Without hesitation, yes. Yes! Okay, maybe he's kind of right. All right, so this next one came in a small box. I just cut open and we're going to pull it out. It feels like a toy or some sort of doll. What is this? It's a skeleton. It's a baby skeleton. What the? Okay, so this one is kind of creepy looking already. I don't know how he works or how he's supposed to work. I'm going to open him up in the back here. The on switch. What the heck is this? Why does he kick like that? His eyes light up red. He's done. Is that about damn job? Oh my god! I've had enough. This is cursed. This is the most cursed thing in this video. Get away, stupid! Oh man, this might just be the scariest thing in this entire video. We're all scared of Karens. 
I got Angel a Karen wig so I can make her into a Karen. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. She's gonna look so scary. This is the scariest costume I could have gotten my dog. So um, the wig's a little bit big for her, but we're gonna pretend that it's just her size. Right, Angel? This is horrifying. Scary of a Karen you are. That was very Karen of you. Oh my gosh, look at your luscious flow. Literally the wig is almost as big as her. Why'd they give you such a big wig? You're a big Karen. This is cursed. And last but not least, because we all know that I hate bugs, especially spiders. A remote controlled spider. This is terrifying. I hope it looks realistic so I can prank people with it because that would be hilarious. My dog has not liked any of the remote controlled things I've bought in the previous Amazon video. So this will be really interesting. Let's try this thing out. Angel, what is your reaction to the spider? No, come back! This one isn't even as scary. She doesn't like any of the um, robotic things that I buy from Amazon. This one's pretty cool, actually. Spider. Doesn't look very realistic, though, sadly. It looks really fake. Let's see what's in here. I actually don't remember what I ordered because I ordered these a while ago and I waited for them to come in, even though they ship pretty fast, but... And I had my friends pick a few. <gasps> what is this? Okay, um, I'm gonna have to see what this is. Okay, so I looked it up and it says this is a butterfly pendulum board dowsing necklace divination altar witchcraft. We're talking witchcraft wooden kit. A witchcraft kit? What? I'm not trying to get cursed. So basically what you do is you hold this little crystal that it came with above the board. You ask a question and uh, it will tell you yes, no, or maybe. So we're gonna try this out to see if it's really as cursed as the internet makes it sound. All right, guys, so here is what it looks like. It says yes, maybe, now, no, or refresh. And you have this crystal here that you hold up and you're going to ask a question So I'm going to ask are any of my dolls actually haunted and I'm not moving this I'm going to hold this as still as I can It's going to the yes on its own. It's getting closer to the yes on its own. I cannot make this up It's swinging towards yes, and I'm holding it very still <gasps> Yes, okay. I'm gonna ask another one. I'm gonna hold it in the middle. Do I own a Brussels Griffin? It's already swinging towards yes on its own. I'm actually scared a little bit by this. Is my house haunted? Now it's swinging the other way all on its own. It says no! My house is not haunted. How is it swinging so aggressively? Alright guys, next item. I have no idea what this one is. I was gonna cut it open, but... I think this is one of the items one of my friends picked out for me. Um, cause I don't remember picking this. What is this? Lily host a ghost? Okay, I'm already a little afraid of this packaging. What is this cursed thing? Okay, so I'm gonna read the back of this, this box here. It says, Lily, a Halloween tradition. The tradition of protection from ghosts during October returns with Lily host a ghost. Lily makes for a fun tradition and a powerful amulet against the evils of October. But watch out, if Lily isn't happy or if you disrespect her, she will turn her hauntings towards you. Am I gonna get haunted by whatever's in this box, yo? Um, okay. Her name is Lily and keep her on a short leash. It says in quotation, somebody said that about whatever's in this box. Lily was made to ward off bad forces and historians have tracked Lily's background to the early 1600s and warding rights imported from Europe up to the Dutch colonists. Um, handmade figurines like Lily were left out to frighten off local spirits and new world ghosts. And there's a lot of history about Lily online apparently. This is like a real thing. So this is actually supposed to scare ghosts in your house. And there's directions here. There's rules. It says the rules. It says the rules are simple. Number one, unbox Lily. Do not place her near mirrors. Why not? What would happen? Okay, I'm gonna unbox Lily. The funny thing is it says do not place like near mirrors. Yet yeah, there's a mirror right there and right here. Um, am I gonna die? Can't really help that. Okay, who's Lily? I took her packaging off. She has hair. Oh my gosh. I'm a little scared right now, honestly. What is this? No! Oh my gosh! What is this? It's so scary! Look at this doll! You've gotta be kidding me right now! Which one of my friends picked to ship this to me? 
When I said cursed Amazon, I didn't mean this curse, but oh my gosh, this thing is creepy. Look at her leg. Please don't haunt me, Lily, okay? Please get rid of the spirits for me. I don't know who thought that this doll was a good idea. I mean, look at it. It's cursed. But now I have another haunted potential doll that might curse me. <laughs> Quirky, I should let her sleep on my bed tonight. Okay, so then it says number two would be place Lily in an area that you want to protect. <laughs> I guess my bed. Be nice to Lily. Do not be surprised if she moves when you're asleep. Ayo! And put her away outside October 1st to November 1st. Well, that's great. We love having a haunted doll from Amazon. I didn't even know that was a thing till today. She is kind of heavy, actually, for a haunted doll. She feels, like, weighted. Like, I don't know what she's, like, made out of. Like, she has, like, a... I guess like a bean body, but she's definitely one of the scariest dolls I've ever seen in my entire life. And probably now the scariest doll that I currently own. I'm gonna go put her on the bed to keep away the spirit. All right, Lily, I'm gonna put you right here. Look at that, she's protecting the house and my bed. Hopefully she doesn't curse me. <laughs> next item. All right guys, we have the next item here and this is a huge box. I have no idea what's inside of it, so we're gonna just cut it open. This kind of reminds me of my mystery box video. Like Amazon edition. All right, so there's two items in this box, and here is one of the first two. Oh, something already fell out of it. So this is apparently one of the most cursed costumes on Amazon. This is a headless costume. I could be headless, I guess. I want to know if I'll actually look like the guy in the packaging here. I guess I'm gonna have to put this on and become the headless horseman. Hopefully, I can put this on correctly and show you guys how creepy it is. Apparently, you have to like inflate like a shoulder pad. Update. I inflated the thingies. Now I have like big shoulders and like chest pad now to put it on I can't see anything I don't even know if I look headless and one of my shoulders seems like it's bigger than the other I'm buff but I'm apparently the headless horseman and this is horrifying I should go scare the kids down the street I don't know how believable this look I kind of wanna I kind of want to know there's literally eye holes right here now I look even more scary Ooh, I am the headless horseman I have no head! Ha 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 What are you doing if I'm running towards you at 3 a.m.? This is so spooky. Woo! Who took my head? Give it back right now! This is so sad. Can we get one like on this video? This is pretty believable though. If I walk down the street, no one would know that this isn't a costume. 10 out of 10, Amazon. Thanks for the cursed costume. All right, the next thing in the box that I just found was a RC snake. I don't know how realistic this thing will look. It's apparently like a toy, but it's supposed to move and act and appeal as a real snake. So basically, it's just a super realistic, fast-moving rattlesnake is what it says on the back of this box. And um, there's a tongue and swinging tail and three different frequencies that it has. So we'll see how realistic this fake snake really is and if it um, can scare my dog. All right, guys, so I have a snake here and I also have a small little schwerg. That's her nickname, by the way. She's a Brussels griffin. I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna turn it on. It's lighting up, so it's working. And we're gonna see how my dog reacts to a robotic snake. Oh, she's already running away. Oh my gosh, it does look real. No way. It's gonna hit the wall. Oh man, it got stuck. I bet I can prank my family with this. Oh my gosh, it moves so realistically. No way. It keeps getting stuck on things though, not my flip-flops. Go, little buddy, go. That is so sick. It moves on carpet, no way. Do you like it? She's scared. Oh, <laughs> she doesn't like that snake. It's a good thing though, because then that means she won't like real life snakes. We have a weird inflatable clown costume because I just love clowns. Flashback to the clown hotel. Anyways, this looks cursed and um, I'm not ready to put this on, okay? It's pretty hot today, but it does look kind of weird looking. So I'm gonna put it on just to embarrass myself for you guys and because we love just cursed weird Halloween costumes, especially inflatable ones. Okay guys, so I'm inflating this clown costume, but it already kind of looks ridiculous. I don't know how I'm supposed to get inside of this thing, okay? A few moments later. I'm a clown! <laughs> this is so creepy! If you can see my feet, you don't, okay? Ignore them. But apparently I'm a clown doing a handstand. What is Amazon even selling these days? And hopefully you guys don't see my face through this face hole. This costume is so cursed! I wonder if I can do like a dance. That looks kind of weird. And last but not least, this final package. I'm gonna need some scissors for this one. Okay. What? 
what is in this one? No! It's a voodoo doll! I just dropped it. I'm gonna get cursed. It's a super voodoo doll. I don't even know what that means. A magician's voodoo doll. Alright, let's see here. There's like a whole instruction guide, I guess, and a whole image on the front of this about the voodoo doll. <gasps> what does it look like a person just like hanging? Like that looks kind of creepy. It's supposed to be resembling a person and then X marks a spot for their heart. What is going on? I didn't know that they had voodoo dolls on Amazon, apparently. I don't want to get cursed, but I want to see how this works. Like, is it for magic tricks or what is the point of this? It's a big instruction manual. Okay, you place a small straw doll on the palm of your hand and you make a magical pass and slowly the doll begins to rise without any means of support okay so we're gonna take this little doll put it on my hand I don't understand how this works it's not gonna stand for me am I not magic wait there's a needle no if you guys look really close here there's a needle at the end of the voodoo doll and you're supposed to stab yourself to make this work I ain't gonna do that that would actually hurt so bad do people actually do that don't do this this is actually a cursed item if you're supposed to literally stab yourself with a needle to perform a magic voodoo trick like what who thought about this do not try this at home kids like stabbing yourself with sharp objects to get a voodoo doll ow it hurts to stand that's as close as ow it's stabbing me what is it gonna be <laughs> i have no clue <laughs> Okay, it's in a smaller pouch. Angel's even in the background. She's right there. She's looking. Did you give me a toy? She's thinking. No, Angel, this is not a toy. I don't know what it is. It's a rat. It's a remote controlled rat. I want to know what Angel's reaction is going to be to this thing. It has a remote. Oh, no way. This is going to be so fun to play around with. And here's the rat. Oh my gosh, it kind of looks real. I know a lot of people don't like rats, but I don't really mind them. Okay, this is kind of funny looking. I have to see what Angel's reaction to a rat is going to be because she's looking at it in the back like it's a toy so I kind of want to know what she's gonna think about this okay so I have the mouse and I have an angel and she's already scared of it I don't think she likes mice but I'm gonna put it down and try to get her reaction all right let's see how she likes it oh wait, it got stuck no she doesn't like it this thing is pretty funny it's really fast it got stuck again look at how fast it goes why is it spinning like that <laughs> Whee! He got stuck again. I can't even get him. He's under there. Well, that was interesting. 10 out of 10 would recommend buying a robotic rat from Amazon. I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, AFK The Witcher 3. If you guys don't know what this game is, I absolutely love it so much. It is one of the most relaxing, funnest mobile games out there, and I'm obsessed with the artwork and graphics in this game. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is one of the most acclaimed RPGs of all time by CD Projekt Red, and AFK Arena is a classic idol RPG with stunning artistic beauty. Like, seriously, I love the graphics in the game. Both take place in fictional fantasy worlds featuring monsters and magic. You can try these two powerful and unique collaboration characters, Geralt of Rivia and Yennefer for free for three days, after which there will be ways to redeem the heroes for free, or you can simply purchase the bundle to claim them. In AFK Arena, you do not need to spend a lot of time grinding the gears or leveling up, as you can auto-collect the resources even while you are away. Just check the game from time to time, and you will find your team is getting stronger and stronger every time. In turn, you can focus on enjoying the various gameplay modes available, PvE story, dungeons, and raid bosses, arena, king towers, and more. I'll have a link down below to get the game, and even better, I have a promo code which I'm going to put right here on the screen the Witcher 3 to receive 1,000 diamonds of more items on the game. So you guys better go download it. It's down below. There's so much for you guys to experience and explore within this game. You guys will have so much fun. All right, guys, next package. Let's take a look and see what this one's going to be. Okay, what is this? There's two things in this box. Oh, <gasps> this is weird. Ain't no way. What is this? Why does this kind of look like Angel? So this is called a, a Sneenum. I don't know how to say that. It says Pet Prankster. So this is like a way you can prank your friends I guess it says get ready hide and surprise furry friends that pop up anywhere surprise anyone anytime built-in timer <gasps> wait it pops up so this is the sneakum and basically it can go down like this and then you just have to push a button I think oh or you could just do that okay so you can just go like this and then go like this oh my gosh that's so cursed I could literally scare people with this I could literally be like hey guys who wants me to take a selfie and then pretend to take a photo of somebody and go boom <laughs> this is so pointless I love it okay I literally I'm gonna prank everybody with this I'm literally gonna go up and be like can I take a photo surprise I'm gonna shock Angel with it Angel look 
There's a friend. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's just your twin. This thing is cursed. Okay, but I kind of... I kind of like it in a weird way. I don't know. Look at it. It's horrifying. Look at this thing. It looks like a beaver monkey, but also kind of looks like Angel. So maybe it could be Angel's long lost twin. It's amazing. I love it. 10 out of 10 would buy one of these things again. I, I don't know why it's creepy, but I love it at the same time. All right. Next thing we have here is a squirt wee wee set for two. I have no idea, but we're going to open it up. All right. Why did it come with two squirt wee wees? Does anybody want one? Oh my gosh. It's a little boy that you can make pee. This is cursed. This is literally the most cursed toy ever. So it says, number one, you want to fill your squirt wee wee up with water. And then number two, let him squirt. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> okay, um, this is cursed. Uh, I kind of want to try it though. So this is the thing that pees. Wait, his pants pull down. It says pull down and play. That sounds so bad. Right here. And he pees. Ew. <gasps> Okay, we're gonna try it. Alright, everybody, moment of truth. I just filled up my squirt wee with water and we're going to see how he pees. I'm kind of nervous to do this. Okay, just like this. <gasps> He's peeing! Ew! Wait, is that it? Is that all the pee he had? No, he's still peeing! Ah! This would be such a funny prank. Like, you're like, look at my doll, and you just pull it down, and you're like, squirt wee wee! This is cursed! But it's kind of a hilarious big fail toy, so. Alright, guys, I just cut open this next box, and I want to see what's inside of here. No idea what this is. I don't want to open it first. Alright, this one is wrapped up super weird, so... That's why I want to open it first. I have no idea what they wrapped in here. It almost looks like a shirt or something, but I didn't order a shirt. Not that I'm aware of. No way! It's a rat mask! Haha! <laughs> I forgot I got this. I can become one with Chuck E. Cheese. This is, this is everything I've ever wanted in life is to be a rat. Oh my gosh, wait. I'm gonna look so hot in this. This is... Epic! I can't believe in this thing. Does anybody have any cheese? It's hard to see in this thing. Oh my gosh. I should pull up the Chuck E. Cheese in this. I messed up my hair. Look at the whiskers on this thing. The rat mask is cursed, but I love it. Would I buy another rat mask? Probably, because I like rats. I think this box right here is the one that I've been looking forward to the most in this video. I've always wanted to get one of these cursed toys. This is gonna be so exciting. If you guys are still watching at this point in the video, this is the exciting part of the video. Well, the thing I'm most excited about, all of it's exciting, but this is gonna be epic. Oh, <gasps> it is what I was waiting for. Okay, this is the big reveal. This might just be the scariest thing I got today. I got an actual Chippy Chippas! This thing is cursed. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at his little face and his teeth and his little symbols and he claps. Ah! I love it. Okay, I need to put batteries in this. I think I need to set this up for you guys. I've always wanted a symbol clapping monkey. This is the day that I finally got a scary symbol clapping monkey. I love it. Update. I'm going to get Angel's reaction to the chimp. Angel, look. It's a chimp. She really doesn't like these. So this is Chimpy Chimpas, so I'm not gonna scare her. But here's what he does. Oh my gosh, he's so scary. Look at him go! Jeez! And then you can push him down. Oh, that's so cursed! Oh, that is terrifying. I hate it. 10 out of 10 for being scary! Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's two things in this last box. And this is one of the two things in the last box. What is this? It's a cursed doll! Oh my gosh. It says try me. Is there really a try me? Let's see if I can get some batteries for the oh, wait. You broke me and I broke. That made me angry. I broke her! She's cursed! She knows I broke her! Okay, this is scary, I'm not gonna lie. She laughs. Okay, I don't like this. I don't know if I can let this sleep in my room tonight. This thing is creepy. Look into its soul. It's literally a cursed doll. You dropped me and I broke. I didn't break you! You stupid doll! Okay, so I kind of broke her. Oh my gosh. Is this what I think it is? This is this is spooky, y'all. I think we're ending the video with a spooky one. It's a voodoo doll and it has real pins. No way. It gave real pins. This is a dangerous toy. This isn't even 
a toy at this point. It's literally just a voodoo doll. Look at it. This is actual pins. I don't know if you can see that, but there really are pin heads on this. This could actually stab somebody. This is dangerous. And the voodoo doll shows little spots where you're supposed to poke when you're performing voodoo. This is creepy. I'm probably gonna throw this away. It says, lose your love. You can make someone lose their love. Constipation? You can make someone constipated? Turn ugly. Lose your job. Get sick. Lose money. Or love me forever. This is a curse, y'all. This is a cursed doll. I'm gonna poke this somewhere on the voodoo doll. Is there anything that's like positive here? I was gonna say gain money. I'm gonna be like, stab, stab, stab. I'm gonna poke him. I'm gonna poke him in the eyeball because my eyeball is already hurting anyway, so it doesn't matter. Don't curse me, doll. I'm poking you. I'm gonna just leave it right here. Okay, I'm probably gonna get cursed now for playing with this, but we had fun. We do everything for YouTube. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I do wanna say thank you again to today's sponsor, AFK Arena X The Witcher 3. I will have the link down below if you guys wanna go check it out and get the game, as well as a code where you guys can redeem a thousand diamonds in the game. So be sure to check my pinned comment in the description to go download the game and get your free diamonds. Anyways, guys, it's been Lissy. Thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I'll see all of you lovely people in the next video. Bye, guys.